Okay, so today what we're going to be working on is installing this ice and water shield on that deck overhang. I have to get it on today because over the next couple of days we're going to have more winter rain. So definitely need to get that bare plywood up there covered up. And before I do that, let me just uh, point out that is not a uh, flat roof. I know it looks pretty flat and it technically in the roofing world it's considered a flat roof um, but that has a quarter inch per foot slope what we're going to be doing up there spoiler alert is a living roof just like the pump house that's the theme we're going with with the cedar and then the living roof so pretty excited on on that this is all just kind of been envisioned in my head for quite some time before we even came out here was living roofs over these decks. So uh, actually, before we came out here, I was thinking about doing living roofs over the shipping containers. I, I don't know what it is. I just, I just, I, I think they're cool. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Okay, now I gotta get the ice and water shield up now that I've gotten the drip edge up there. So trying to get this ice and water shield up here is just gonna, it kinda makes me reminisce of the time when we did our ice and water shield over the center section. And uh, how fun that was. What a terrible idea. I should've just ca tried to carry it up myself. Instead, we tried the good old pass it up to Ken's, have Ken's try to hold it, and uh, well, I race up the ladder and then grab it from her. <laughs> Push more. That's as high as I can go. Okay. Listen. Just hold it there and I'll, cl I'll climb up. Okay, I can't make any promises. Ah! I can, I'm almost here. Ow! Do you know what I was just visualizing? I was pretending like you were on the edge of the cliff and I was holding on to you. Babe, don't let me go. Don't worry, babe. I got you. Don't let go. Oh my god. Pull it up. I couldn't do it. I can't believe you let go. Jeez, what a disaster that was. I wasn't awkward at all. Why are you staring at me like that? What? get a voice from you. <laughs> I'm a little sleep deprived, so I'm kind of in a weird mood right now. <laughs> it's really cold right now. What do you think the temperature is? Okay, guess what the temperature is. If you're not within two degrees of the correct temperature, then you have to jump in the pond. 43. Did you just look? No. You <laughs> you, you answered that way too quickly. <laughs> it's 45. Is it? Yes, you're exactly two away. How'd you do that? No, oh, I, you I cheated. I a little bit. Go get in the pond. <laughs> okay, okay. So it's 45. What does it feel like? If you get this wrong, you must jump in the water nude. No, I got one out of the two questions right. Fully nude. What does it feel like? It's 45. 40. Get in the water. What is it? <laughs> 42. Oh. All right, let's see what's fun. I gotta say though, wearing this blanket out here, I feel so much better. 
I'm just gonna start wearing this every day. And then I don't have to ever do my hair. <laughs> All right, you're coming down to get in the water? <gasps> you know what these always make me think of? Signs. How did you get that? Because the baby monitor, you know her daughter's name is M Bo. <laughs> you know me too well. That was good. Of course, you can't boil that. <laughs> <laughs> The living room for the, the living room for over the front door is almost all complete. All that's left to be done is Spencer is going to get the tractor ready and go get some dirt and mix it with some soil and cow manure that we have here and get that all mixed up there so we can try to have some native grasses start growing. And hopefully some wildflowers come springtime. It's like he knows when I'm about to film and he just starts banging on me. <laughs> Are you just making music out here? Yeah, that's what I do. I swear, you just wait till I start filming. Yeah, I, I time it first. <laughs> And cue the epic shot of the <laughs> shoveling. <laughs> when one man built a living roof for his epic off-grid dream home in the woods alone with his family, he must go on the hunt for the secret ingredient in order to thrive. That ingredient is <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Can't get underneath it. <laughs> Oh man, I think the big bull definitely was responsible for that one. <laughs> I knew I'd be shoveling <laughs> as a profession. <laughs> I was driving down the So now that the roof has all the soil, we're gonna go grab some hay that's just loosely lying around from uh, feeding the cows to help lock in the moisture and also there's obviously seed within that grass or in, within that hay, so that'll just help promote grass growth. Yeah, and you guys will have to see what this little guy likes to do. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> Ha <laughs> 
He has a piece of <laughs> stuck on his face. <laughs> All right, how in the world do I make this? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I feel like this is wrong. I feel like it needs to go up higher. There we go, that's better. <laughs> oh yeah, I am styling. <laughs> I don't know, your antenna is too pointy. It might actually catch reception. <laughs> make your antenna bigger. Let me just do, I know what I'm doing. No, you don't. Yes, I do. I looked up photos. <laughs> Yours is really good. Okay, everyone look at the camera. Okay, now make like a serious face. <laughs> 